The biggest game of the college football season so far takes place in Alabama this Saturday. The Crimson Tide hosting the Georgia Bulldogs. Alabama ended Georgia's season last year. Do the Bulldogs get their revenge here? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get 90 days, all access, all sports, at the regular price of $8.49. We'll throw in an additional 30 days absolutely free. This is the best time of year to take advantage of this offer because that will cover you through the end of the college and pro football seasons. That'll get you the first half of NBA, college hoops, NHL, the rest of the baseball season. And with guys like myself, you can even get some soccer and CFL plays. Uh, this is available for any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com. But if your favorite handicapper at wagertalk isn't this guy right here, you hit me up in the comments below and let me know what I got to do to change your mind. As always, there's no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Let's get into it. Georgia will be a two and a half point road favorite. The total sits at 48 and a half. And uh, Kirby Smart has not had a lot of success against Alabama. He's one in five in his career. Of course, uh, Alabama did defeat Georgia in the SEC championship game last year in uh, Atlanta. And the majority of those losses for Kirby Smart were at neutral site games, not uh, here in Tuscaloosa. And seeing Georgia coming in as a two and a half point favorite, it just feels like they're not giving Alabama a ton of respect for uh, home field advantage. Uh, at the end of the day, this line to me is an indication that people believe Georgia has a, a coaching advantage with Kirby Smart no longer having to face Nick Saban, but Kalen DeBoer, the new head coach coming over from Washington. And uh, this is a notion that I, I do not agree with, and that I will break it down for you. Kalen DeBoer is a young head coach by coaching standards. He's 49 years old. I say young, but he's only a year older than me. Uh, he's won a Pac-12 championship last year. He's two-time Pac-12 coach of the year. Of course, he made the playoff final last year. And in doing so, uh, the Huskies had to beat the Oregon Ducks twice. And that's significant because Oregon was considered one of the top three teams in the country last year for the entire season. It's also significant because Oregon's head coach is a guy that goes by the name of Dan Lanning who is also in the running for this Alabama job and who is a descendant of the Kirby Smart coaching tree, the former defensive coordinator at Georgia. And I got to tell you, in those games, Kalen DeBoer thoroughly outcoached Dan Lanning in both of those wins for the Huskies. Um, Nick Saban, before age 50, you look at his resume, he had an SEC championship, a random MAC championship with Toledo, and he was voted coach of the year by the Associated Press twice. So. At the same age, similar accomplishments to Kalen DeBoer. Um, of course, Saban went on to win a bunch of natties later in his career. Kalen DeBoer might well do the same thing. Uh, it certainly puts him in a good position to do so, taking the job at Alabama. I, I just don't believe that Kalen DeBoer is any easier a, a matchup for Georgia than Nick Saban would be. I think, if anything, the defense might not be as good, but the offense would be even better. And... Uh, for that reason, I, I think I can't go against the Crimson Tide at home laying points. I've got to take the points with Alabama. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.